What's happening, fellas? This is X Editing, and today I'm going to be showing you how to cut um, cut clips that you put into Adobe After Effects, and I'm also going to be showing you how to render. Um, but first off, I want to show you this quick little video. If you're watching this tutorial, you've probably already seen it, but it was worth watching again. So uh, I'm just going to explain this video. This video took me about it took me about that long. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it took about, um, I want to say like three to four hours to make and to upload to YouTube. Um, it took about two hours. No, it took about an hour and a half to, uh, to actually make the video and to do all the settings and everything. Actually, no, it wasn't that long. It was about an hour. Um, to do the color correction and all that and it took about two and a half to three hours to render it because I have terrible rendering settings um, and I did do this color correction all by myself and started that says spectating reach Exodus right there because I don't have an HTTPR so I had to get my homie redefined to record it for me um, and I'll put his link in the description of that video too. Um, but yeah, and then if you watch this video, I will soothe your pain. I won't ease your strain. All right, right there, that color correction was made by me too. Um, I was just kind of messing around with color correction when I did that. But anyway, you can go watch that video yourself. Um, I just want to get started with this tutorial. So first off, I want to create a new project. Save. All right, and you're going to import your clip. All right, and then just drag this out here. Like that. And then usually with HTTPVR clips, it's not exactly 1280 by 720. You just take this corner and kind of drag it up where it fix, fits. And um, and then when you want to cut this, you just go double click on the video, and it'll go to the layer composition view. And you can just drag this bar to everything that you want to cut out up until this part that you don't want to cut out so like right there and then click this little arrow looking thing and then go to the end of your clip right there and cut that out and then you go to composition layer everything is cut out As you can see, um, this blue bar right here is everything that's going to show up when you render. Um, so yeah, and then if you want to render this, you go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and then for the Output Module, you want to click on where it says Lossless. This little thing will come up, and then under Format. You want to go to H.264. And I always do resize just for YouTube because if the video isn't exactly 1280 by 720, it won't show up in really high quality in YouTube. So I always do resize. Um, and everything else is pretty good. If you want audio in here, just click this audio box. And, and then click on Format Options right here. And just make the profile high and the level 5.1. And I think for default preset settings, this will be at CVR one pass. And you want to um, uncheck that and check CVR and then change the bit rate to 120. And then just click OK. And OK. And that's basically it. And then when you click render, 
renders this out. Well, I'm going to stop it because I already have that rendered. Um, so yeah guys, that's basically it. I think the next tutorial that I post is going to be a Twixter tutorial. Um, and I actually really enjoy making those Twixter videos. I think they're kind of cool. So uh, keep watching for more Twixter videos. And it's been Exus Editing. And I'm out. Sorry if this is a really wacky tutorial. It's like it's four in the morning right now because I had to wait for that long video to render. So sorry if I wasn't clear about something. You just put it in the channel comments. I mean the video comments, and I'll answer you back. But kind of tired because my video that I made took like four hours to completely complete from start to finish. So. Yeah, guys, I tried to make this as good as I could, but, you know, not everybody's perfect, so like this video, and I'm out.